Hey everybody, welcome to Munzee Says, the informative and entertaining blog about everything you've always wanted to know about real estate, but never asked. I'm Magic Munzee, your host and the owner broker of San Pedro Real Estate Company. Thanks for checking us out. Check out our newly restyled website at sanpedrorealestatecompany.com when you get a chance. Our main man, marketing manager, Million Dollar James did such a great job on it, I'm so proud. And while you're there, check out our bios. But now, let's get down to business. Today, I just got off a Zoom listing presentation with a local commercial property owner. The majority of the presentation was actually an investor proposal that among, among other things, included a competitive marketing analysis and broker price opinion. So today's Ask Munzee is a discussion about the valuation tools that we have, when to use them, and how they are used. The one is the first one, the cost approach, approach method, is rarely used, typically only when there aren't any comps. It might apply to a one-off type building like a football stadium or a large church. The second one, the comparable analysis, is the standard method used for residential properties when there are numerous similar properties in which we can compare the size, number of rooms, location, and upgrades to see what they've sold for. The third one is the income approach in which a cap rate is calculated based on the net operating income of the property, typically through rental income. This method is most applicable to multi-unit residential properties and commercial properties. The cap rate is the return on your investment based on the price of the property and the net income it generates. The higher the cap rate, the better the investment for the buyer. 5% is a standard cap rate for the area Spreck handles, which is the Southern California area, but more specifically, the South Bay, including Manhattan Beach, Hermosa, Redondo, Torrance, Rancho Palos Verdes, and of course, the beautiful San Pedro. The fourth approach is the gross multiplier. This is used in conjunction with one or more of the other methods to provide a baseline or alternative perspective on the other results derived. Like its name states, you take the gross yearly revenue generated by a property and multiply it by a number that represents the number of years for the return on your investment. Typically in my area, we shoot for a GM of 18. The lower the multiplier, the better investment. Once we make these calculations, we package them neatly into a comparative marking analysis or CMA and present them to our clients. Spreck understands that our clients and their homes are each unique and each deserves a uniquely tailored approach. We are committed to leveraging our experience and knowledge to successfully maximize our clients' ability to create value and build wealth. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's blog. As always, remember, think locally, act locally. Support your local businesses. And until next time, goodbye and mahalo.